Welcome to this another thought for the day, brought to you by the Methodist Church in the New River Circuit. It is our prayer that as we reflect and as we listen to the words of God, that we may find hope and strength to go through these trying times. And also we may find joy in the word of God as we continue to live our lives. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we just want to thank you for another day. You who have brought us safely to the beginning of this new day, we pray that you would defend us with your power. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity where we can reflect on your word, where we can find hope, we can find strength, we can find comfort. We pray that your word will not return to you void, but will accomplish whatever your purpose in the hearts and lives of your people. Continue to bless us as we study your word, as we reflect on your word. In the name of Christ, we pray. As we continue to live out our lives in these trying times, through this unprecedented situation and circumstances, I want to remind us that this time will not last forever. This time will pass. And this is something that has been in my thoughts for the past week that we are now almost two months into this lockdown and social distancing situation. And sometimes my mind wanders a bit and I wonder how long, how much longer. And in consoling myself, I tend to look to the word of God and there's a passage of scripture which says to me that this time will not last forever. Like everything else, this time will pass. And the passage of scripture is from Psalm chapter 30. And I'll just read two verses, verses four and five. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes in the morning. It is my experience that as human beings, we tend to be more aware of the daily difficulties rather than focusing on the abundant blessings we receive. And especially in times like these, we, we tend to be so concerned with all that's happening around us, and rightly so, we need to be concerned. But in focusing on the situation as is, we can miss sight of the blessings that God pours on us every day. And the longer this situation continues is the more we become worried and we become focused on our fear of the situation. But I want to say to us that God is in the midst of everything. And the psalm is speaking from personal experience, admonishes and encourages us that in every situation as people of God, we should find time and we should focus on praising God for his goodness, for his faithfulness, for his love and for his grace. 
And even in adversity, even in challenging situations and difficult times, it is important that we understand that these times will not last forever. And I like how the psalmist put it. He says, listen, weeping endures for a night. And I think he's not talking about 12 hours as we know the night. He's speaking about these dark times, these dark situations that we would find ourselves in. When we cannot see any way out, any light in the tunnel, when we may even lose our hope. And he's saying in times like those, let us continually sing praises to God because there is coming a time when the brightness of morning will shine in our hearts again. I'm earnestly looking forward to that day, that morning when the brightness will shine into my heart, into your heart. When the good news comes that we are free again, free again, that COVID-19 is no more. But while we're looking forward to that day, in the meantime, what do we do? Continue to put our faith, our trust, and our confidence in God. Continue to sing his praises. Continue to Thank him every day for sparing our lives. Continue to pray for him, to him for strength and for grace, especially for those who look after the sick and the suffering, especially for those who care for the vulnerable, those who make life livable for the rest of us. Continue to pray for his guidance and his protection as we continue to thank him. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. Father God, we just thank you for these few moments we were able to spend reflecting on your word. Your word, O oh God, which gives us light, which gives us comfort, which gives us wisdom, which gives us strength. Continue to bless us, to God, to guide and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.